Hi everybody, welcome to this Tabletop Titans hobby tutorial. Today, we're going to be making trees with Magisculpt. If you've been watching our hobby content recently, you'll know I've been working on a desert canyon board. These trees are going to be part of that board, adding elevation, texture, and color. As you can see, the trees have been purchased, but the root system is what we'll be making, and we'll be making it out of Magisculpt. To make these trees, I used the big 15-piece pine and fir set from Scenic Express. You'll also need to pick up some Magisculpt, and of course, any paints. I recommend grays, greens, reds, and browns. And finally, you'll need some glue. I'd recommend some form of super glue. If you haven't used Magisculpt before, it's one product that I really recommend getting into your hobby wheelhouse. It's very similar to green stuff in that it's a two-part putty that hardens as it cures. It's a little softer than green stuff and easier to work with in large quantities. To start, we're gonna measure out equal parts of both the resin and the hardener. I like to roll each of these out into spheres and make sure they're about the same size. Take your time combining both parts of the Magisculpt thoroughly. Otherwise, it might be messy when it dries. To make our tree root system, we can use two or three long ropes of Magisculpt. Again, make sure they are thoroughly combined together. We'll be taking the two or three ropes and interweaving them together to make the roots. And remember, each rope of Magisculpt represents the roots of one tree. It requires a little bit of planning, but I highly recommend making one of the roots the day before and giving it time to dry. It'll give you a solid spine that makes it easier to weave the other ropes around it. We want our roots to have some texture so that they look more realistic and also so that they pick up paint later when we dry brush them. Getting this gnarled, twisted texture on the roots is actually pretty simple. All we're going to do is twist the Magisculpt. Taking one end of your Magisculpt rope in each hand, simply start to twist in opposite directions. You can actually be pretty aggressive with the twisting, especially if your Magisculpt has been recently opened. If you're using an older batch that you opened already, you might need to be a little more careful. To get some natural looking variation, hone in on some specific areas and give them an even more aggressive twist. Also, be sure to give a good twist to the ends where the roots will be going into the ground. But my favorite effect is to find an area and give it an especially gnarled look. To do this, I begin twisting one specific area of the root in the opposite direction. If this is your first root, you may want to let it dry overnight. If that's the case, look a little bit ahead in the video to see how to put a hole in the root so that you can later on glue the tree into that hole. If it's not your first root, it's time to start weaving this new, freshly made root around the hardened one that you made the day before. You'll have a lot of time before the Magisculpt starts to set, so try some different things out. Also, remember, we'll be making a third root and weaving all three of them together. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Remember to try out some of the techniques we discussed to give your root natural variations, twisting it in opposite directions and focusing on specific areas to tighten the twist. Once you've got the final root looking good, we're ready to weave all three of them together to create a twisted, gnarled mess of roots. You have plenty of time before the Magisculpt will start to set, so have some fun with this process and try out different patterns until you've arrived at something that you love. When you're ready to move on, we're going to be using one of the trees to poke three holes, one in each root system, so that later on, after the Magisculpt has dried, we can easily glue the trees in. This is another great place to take your time. You'll really want to plot out where each of the three trees is going to go so you get an even dispersed look of the trees among your root system. You also want to make sure that none of the trees are too close to each other as it will make them hard to glue into the hole. To accomplish this, you'll often need to readjust the positioning of your root. The good news is, even though it'll still be malleable, the Magisculpt will be firm enough to hold the trees in place. So go ahead and try a few different things out until you've arrived at a pattern you like. Once you're there, go ahead and take the trees back out and now it's time to let the Magisculpt dry. After about a day of drying, I like to make sure the trees still fit. You may need to use a hobby drill to open up the holes a little bit more. Then I give the trees a quick prime, usually with black primer, so that they're ready to paint. 
I'll be starting with Citadel's Death Core Drab. The only painting technique we'll be using to make these trees is dry brushing. Nice and easy. Make sure you get much of the paint off your brush and then start applying it all over the root system. After cleaning and drying my brush thoroughly, I move on to XV88, which is sort of like a brown okra color. After your brown okra, I like to apply squig orange. This is sort of like a reddish brownish orange type color. And I wanted to apply this to give it a desert tree kind of look. The final color is going to be Ushanti Bone. This is like a bright kind of beige color. Your final highlight. The twisted bumps we made when we were sculpting are really going to pick up this paint. With the final color applied, we are so close to being finished. All that's left to do now is glue the trees in. So put a little dab of super glue into each hole and put the tree right in there. Solid, durable, easy, inexpensive trees that are going to look great on your tabletop. If this video was helpful, make sure you like and subscribe and check out our hobby stream, 6 p.m. on Wednesday nights Pacific time. See you guys next time.